Okay, I'll stop. Gang hai fa choi. Happy New Year of the Rabbit. Happy Chinese New Year of the Rabbit. Um, thank you for joining me. This is my um, my predictions for the upcoming Chinese Year of, Chinese Year of the Rabbit, 2023. And um, I want to do some predictions for you for what you're going to experience over the next 12 months, maybe a bit more. I don't know when the new Chinese Year begins after this. It will be Dragon Year. Wow, Dragon Year next. Oh, hold on a second. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Go, Papa, go, go, go. Good girl. Bit of an interruption there. All right, Papa, sit down. So yes, I'm going to pull some cards. I've got my, my selection of cards here ready, and we are going to do some readings for you. Now, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the rabbit year. Uh, it's going to be an interesting time with what we've been experiencing recently. And the tiger year, wow. I mean, a lot of people struggled in this tiger year. And not necessarily because of the um, repercussions of the pandemic either. Hey, Baba, don't do that. Um, not necessarily because of the repercussions of the pandemic either, but because there's just uh, the energy of this tiger year was such that it was quite oppressive, and a lot of a lot of signs felt like they um, um, they couldn't be themselves and they couldn't um, stand in their power in quite the way that they they used to. You need to stop doing that, Sweepy. Stop doing that. So um, the rabbit year is going to change that. It is going to allow people to not feel so oppressed and suppressed. Um, so there is a certain level of freedom that wasn't there in the tiger year. The other thing that's um, going to be quite noticeable for most signs is the fact that it's a far more creative year. Uh, not that tigers aren't creative, they're very creative. But the, the influence that the rabbit year has on people is that it makes them more creative and... Um, there's something about the rabbit sign that is kind of the political artist. So they use their art to challenge. They use lots of indirect ways to challenge authority. And I think uh, one of the things that they do is they're very good at civil disobedience. Um, for example, uh, I talked about this in my, um, um, the article I wrote for the, um, for the uh, 2023 Chinese New Year of the Rabbit. That's on my website. I talked about how the, in the last rabbit year, 2011, in the UK, we, we had the London riots, which um, were started because the police shot a, uh, a black man, Mark Duggan, I believe his name was. And um, in protest, these riots took place where, they were, where there was like mass looting of like stores. Started off in like North London, in a place called Tottenham. And then it just sort of spread across the country. And that these, these riots where people were just break, smashing windows and taking things and that not that that is civil disobedience because it's it's not very civil it's quite it's uncivil disobedience but it gives you an example of the kind of chaotic laissez-faire energy that comes in rabbit years um there's also a lot of um a lot of natural disasters especially autumn time but the positive that those I suppose those are I don't know whether they're positive or negative is the uh, civil disobedience thing depends on where you where you land in terms of your beliefs. But there are lots of positives, however, which I'm going to focus on. Um, primarily being that you are allowed to be yourself. Being yourself is rewarded. Um, standing in your power, using your art to say what, how you feel, and um, just generally, it's a romantic year. It's also one of the two years of beauty, the dog year and the, and the, the Arabic year. Those are the two signs that are connected to beauty. So it's one of those years where you want to make your surroundings beautiful. You want to like look after yourself, look after your health, make yourself more beautiful. Um, and um, just, just do those things that really make your heart come alive. Now, I've got six packs of tarot cards here. So this is the... This is the Starseed, Starseed Tarot. Uh, this is the Witch's Tarot. I've used this quite a lot of times. You will, if you, those of you who've seen my videos before will know that I've used this pack before. Got the traditional Rider Waite deck. The Robin Wood pack. This lovely green energy, green cards. Um, we have the Archangel pack, one of the Dorian Virtue packs. Um, she does make beautiful cards. She really does with the angels. And um, this is the, the pack which I use the most, which is the Druid pack. Tiger, 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 tiger. It's a bit of a tiger. 
<clears throat> so I'm going to start with that one and then we're going to continue and um, do the rest of the signs all right so I'm going to start with tiger and then, I, then I'll go to I've done dragon I think dragon's okay I was just a bit tired like you know like that so I think dragon's probably going to be okay so I'll miss dragon and I'll go on to snake I just need to redo tiger so let's start let's start with tiger okay um, I'm going to be using the um, so I'm going to use the star seed pack for tiger um, let's see how we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a general reading first followed by a reading on health then wealth and then romance and then I'm going to pull 12 cards one for each month of 2023 okay All right let's do this general reading for tiger in 2023 okay all right so this is the general reading so what I'm seeing is in the recent past um, you found yourself with a higher perspective because of the difficulties that you've had in your own year. So for Tiger people in a Tiger year, which was last year, um, lots of shifts happen, like big, big changes, things like house changes, job changes. Um, I've got a friend who's a, a Tiger Cancer who's just finished his um, um, master degree, his master's. So th those types of big things happen in Tiger years. So, uh, and, and usually they, they set you up so that you change direction. And I think that that's, that those are the types of experiences you've had and that's what's got you to where you are now, which is a, at an at a elevated position, a higher perspective. So being able to look down. So if, if for example, the position that you're in, if people are vying for your, your role, they're not gonna be able to take it because you are a bit of an authority now. Um, Hence why the, the seven of flames, seven of seven of um, wands, you can see she's dancing at the top and people are coming to try to take a position, but they're below her. She's at a higher elevated position. So you come into this year of the rabbit with that elevated position and oh God, look at the next sign. The next card, next card sorry, it's a higher self. Do you see? Do you see how it works? So influences working in your favour is this card of having a higher um, perspective, being connected to your intuition, um, having an understanding of when is the right time to do things and when it isn't. So this is really, really positive. Uh, influence working against you. It's possible that, we've got the strength card here, so it's possible that there was some sort of um, uh, difficulty that's not entirely letting you step into who you actually are. Maybe it's the fact that you have to take a job that you don't like, um, which I find, I find that a lot with Tiger people. They've got such talents and such abilities, but unfortunately, because they got they have responsibilities as well, they've got to take on jobs that they don't necessarily want to do, but they just have to do it. So that that means it gets in the way of them stepping into who they actually are and what they really want to do, and that's that tends to be a bit of a problem. It's possible that that could be a problem this year as well, but I do think that's beginning to wind itself up and end because I think. Uh, as we head into the dragon year, the, the next year, I think that's going to begin to change for you. So you can really, truly, more freely be who you actually are. And you've been waiting for that time. You do have to make it happen, though. Right. Short term future. We've got the hermit in this pack. It's called the reflection. So um, he gets his guidance from within. So I think there could be a period of soul searching for the first half of the year. And the second half, we've got a take it on more than you can handle. Again, it's, it's very much a dragon thing. It's very much a tiger thing. Um, uh, those two signs in particular, I know, do this. They take on just they just take on more and more stuff, and they won't think about the, how they're going to do it. They'll just know that they'll manage somehow, and they do. That's the other thing is they do. But second half of this year, with this card coming up, it's like don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it, and don't be afraid to say no. You don't have to say yes to everything. Um, but it looks like you are going to say yes. It looks like you're going to carry the burden for yourself and for the, the team and for the whole batch of people. So it's up to you. It's up to you. I do kind of think that if you don't consciously make that ch change now, then at some point, if not this year, then next year, you're going to have to learn that lesson the hard way. Um, and oftentimes what happens is people get sick because they're not saying no, they're not looking after themselves. They're thinking about everybody else. Um, so you do need to take care of yourself. 
one of this the, the card that falls in this position here is the most uh the most important and this is the the seeker of chalices so this is the page of cups basically and this uh, signifies a new emotional beginning you return to that adolescent phase where everything is new everything is exciting and fresh um, and you have a really youthful perspective on things so this is really positive because this would suggest that what, what's going to happen throughout the year you see through the, this lens um, is it's your op your heart is open your mind is open and the things that happen you're prepared to learn from because it, it could be that you've set yourself a a, um, uh, a plan now and you're prepared to get to, to in order to get to the other end you need to be open-minded and open-hearted because the things you need to learn first before you get there hence why we've got the um uh, high priestess the higher self card here in that position all right so this is actually very very positive second half of the year you've got to be careful you don't take on more than you can handle. but apart from that it's all positive all right let's move on to the the health aspect the health um uh, reading I think these are the biggest, biggest cards I've got now. They're very beautiful. As are you, Tiger. That's why you got these cards. Beautiful Tiger. Oh, got a card drop out. So this is about health. I thought that also wanted to come out there. Got the Hermit card first come out again. Okay, interesting. We've got a lot of cards here. Okay, um, it's possible in the year of the tiger you had a lot of. Um, parties you're enjoying yourself you may have gone to uh, a lot of celebrating doing a lot of celebrating and gone to places where you got to drink a lot kind of extremes of behavior um i'm not sure how how true that is of the tiger people that i know but maybe they're just not telling me stuff but this is what the cards are saying this this card is uh, this card means uh, celebrations partying having a lot of fun with your friends and that sort of stuff um because we're asking the question about health here, so when this card comes up, it can suggest that maybe there was something that's gone to a bit of an extreme that you need to curb a little bit in this in the next 12 months. So influences work in your favour. It's always a good thing that we have the lover's card here when we're asking a question about um, health because this the lover's card is about healing the self and then um, getting yourself, elevating your consciousness to such a point where you can attract healthy, um, healthy love into your life. Um, so the fact that this has come in this position, influence working in your favour, is really, really positive. It has also come with the Seeker of Orbs as well. So this person is constantly looking to um, uh, learn new things and improve on, on their own, improve on their skills that they already have. So um, it could be that you're learning new about new modalities of health and how you can, uh, or maybe new exercises, new things that you can do. Maybe you start roller skating or you start doing some sort of special dance like belly dance or i don't know it was something unique other ways of, of developing your health and uh, encouraging the um better uh, better usage of your body and your health right i don't know if i'm saying that right um but anyway you get what i mean um influence is working against you we've got the the two of orbs two of swords now, what this card it means is that there's, you, there's, you often come to a fort in the road. You've got to choose this road or this road. And it could could um, suggest indecision. So if there are any health issues for you this year, you're not sure which road to go down or if you go down any road at all. Um, or whether you just sort of wait and let, let, the, let the divine sort it out by itself in its own sweet time. So when, you, when this card comes up, Sometimes it's worth just waiting to see whether you automatically go down a certain road. If not, then sometimes you just have to force a decision. Force a decision. In any case, in the short term future now, you can see that we've got the Eight of Cups. So you're leaving a situation. This is on the way, the first six months. Um, remember, this is relating mostly to health stuff. So it could be that you quit a certain um, a diet, for example, or quit something that you're doing wrong or that's not helping your health. Um, when I think about myself, I'm like, I'm a bit addicted to, um, bread, bread and cheese. Oh my God. 
Why? But why can't I stop? Bread, cheese and chocolate. If this card came up for me in my spread, it would probably be that I needed to curb one of them or maybe all of them. But you know, whatever it is that is your that is your Achilles heel when it comes to your health, it could be that you're leaving that behind. Um, and again, you go inside for guidance. You look inside, look within for the guidance that you need that's relevant to you. And um, you'll figure out what it is you need to do. And the overall outcome card, we've got the world is your oyster and the card of contentment. So this one, nine of chalices and the two of flames. So this is really, really good. This would suggest that you make some headway regarding your health goals this year. That's really positive. I'm really happy to see that for you. All right, let's move on to um, wealth and career and finances. I do love these cards. They're stunning. It's the first time I've used them properly, you know. My dog's hair is everywhere. <sighs> right, wealth, career, finances. You know, I have this have this sense that for the tiger people that I know, they're they're building now. They've got to start saving for something, um, because they've been stuck for too long. A lot of the tigers that I know have been stuck for too long, and they're fed up. They're fed up of it. They really want to experience that freedom that they once had, and I, the only way to do it is to become financially free. So, in, from my perspective, what I've seen is that these tigers are looking to plot their way out of this sense of being stuck. So let's see what the cards say. Again, we've got two coming here. Maybe three. Wow. Okay. Wow. Now, um, I did say that I thought that one of the things that um, the Tigers are looking to do is to build towards something, right? And if you look at here, the, the influence is working in your favour. We've got the Ten of ten of uh, Crystals, which is the Ten of Pentacles, which is working towards developing a legacy for your family and for everybody else. So they really are beginning to think long term when it comes to their finances. Um, in the recent past... Um, so the two of chalices, two of cups. One of it's a romantic card, um, but it's all about. It's also about connecting with other people in a really deep way, whether it's friendship, whether it's romantic. Um, but in, in terms of in in terms of um, romance, sorry, not romance. In terms of wealth, what uh, uh, what this card would suggest here is in the recent past, you wanted to make these plans, you wanted to live a certain life, but not having that financial freedom has gotten in the way of you living the, the life that you wanted to live, the full, deep, meaningful life, the traveling, the finding a partner, and all that sort of stuff for those, the tig for those tigers that aren't attached. But those that are, it's like, um, I want to be able to just spend time with my loved ones, wherever, wherever you know, at the drop of a hat, because tigers can be quite impulsive. At the drop of a hat, if I want to do this, I just want to do it, I want to go, I don't want to think too much, um, but because of the uh, financial situation you've got you know, gotten yourself into, you can't do that. So you're thinking about how can I how can I change that so I can, because I'm sick and tired of feeling stuck like this. Now, thinking like that is really really positive because you find solutions. Now, what I'm seeing influence working in your favour is a ten of ten of pentacles. Ace of Cups, a new emotional beginning, which means your emotions are beginning to shift in a positive way around this. And the card of Karma, which is Rebirth, which is the, the phoenix rises from the ashes. So if you look at that little story there, starting from the end, we're starting with the end in mind. What is it I want to create? Having, having my emotions back myself up as opposed to working against me. When you're focused on what you don't want, that is an energetic block against what you want. So when you come from that place of, oh, why is this happening? Why am I so stuck all the time? Why can't I live the, the true life I want to live? That's all resistance against your actual goal. But once you forgive yourself, you free yourself and positive emotions then emerge to push that along. And then with the phoenix rising from the ashes, a new life emerges. Also, it can really mean a new job for you tiger people. I know that tigers um, that was, tigers often change job in their own year. But for those tigers that didn't manage to, to do that, it's possible the early part of the rabbit year, you could change job at that point if you, if you, uh, if that is right for you. 
Um, influences working against you. The seven, so this is the seven of wands card. We got it earlier as well, but for, for uh, as part of the other spread. But the seven, this is having a higher perspective and having people vying for your position. But your 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 skill set is really really in demand where you are because you're very good at what you do. So it's possible that if you try to leave where you leave your job, because this last karma card here would suggest that um, uh, you could you could leave your job. They might try and get you to stay by offering you more money or something to make you try and stay because of your skill set and um, and your your in demand. Um, I would consider that, and as in, I would think about that. I don't think it'd be wise for you to stay because you need a prep, you need a break, you need a change. Um, so I would say, don't be. Don't be drawn in by that. Even no matter how good the offer offer seems, you need a change. Short term future, we have the emperor. This is in this pack. It's the reason. The emperor is about boundaries and recognizing that in order for you to protect yourself and your empire, you need to have physical things in place, but also in, um, uh, like like what's a boundary like a. Even if it's like if somebody tells you if somebody wants to do something, you're like, no, I'm sorry. You need to be very firm with them to let them know that there is a um, um, invisible boundary in place, an invisible thing in place in order to protect you. So it might not. Sometimes it's physical. Sometimes it's tangible. Sometimes it's not tangible. But you've got these things in place so that you know that you're protected in this certain environment, right? Um, so that's going to be important, especially in the beginning part of the year. Second part of the year, you've got one foot in, one foot out. So it could mean that you're trying something new. It could mean that you're doing what you always do, um, but if you've wanted to move into something a bit more creative and make money from it, you can do, you can begin to dip your toe into that. And this is, you know, it's kind of alchemy, turning lead into gold. So that's really uh, uh, positive in that you're heading in that direction. And it's it speaks to something that you could achieve at some, like, at some point later on, that you can make a lot more money from it. But it could be that that road starts this year in a rabbit year an overall outcome in order to make this work you want to meditate you want to remove yourself from toxic people and um set yourself up so you've got a space where you can just uh chill out relax and um and meditate i'm going to turn my phone off i'm so sorry i thought i had turned it off but it's, it's still on so um i'm going to quickly go and turn that off and then i shall be back to do romance all right so this way I'm back again. Back again. Back again. Right. Okay. Straight into romance. Because anybody got no time to waste? Right. Let's do this. <laughs> I hope it's positive. The single tiger people I know deserve to meet amazing, amazing partners because they're amazing. So I really hope it's positive for you guys. What I'm seeing here is um, there are lots of opportunities. There were opportunities last year as well, but I don't know whether you just didn't see them. Um, one of my tiger friends I'm thinking of right now uh, was aware of the opportunities um, and he he took some action. But I don't know, it's what, what, what the cards are saying is that basically you're drawing these opportunities to yourself now and that's going to continue into the rabbit year. And because you're getting this experience, you're getting better and better and better at handling it and, um, and recognising what it is that you want in a relationship as well. What's important, influence is working in your favour, again, is the Emperor card, the Reason card, the boundaries, 
knowing that you knowing who you are what you want what you want what you will put up with what you won't put up with um what is acceptable behavior towards you and what isn't right that's a good starting point once you know that then um it sets everything else up what is it that you want you know who who is that person that you can see yourself with i mean i know that there, there, there are some um esoteric uh, practices like making a list of the things that you want the person that you want how they look what is their personality what kind of job do they have that might be helpful that might be helpful at the beginning of this year um yeah all connected to that card there so now um influence is working against you taking on too much again um what taking on too much taking on too much responsibility even if it's not your responsibility sometimes being allowing yourself to be blamed for things that aren't your responsibility that aren't your issue if somebody says it to you blame uh, projects onto you you might take it on board even though it's not your thing but um tigers have a tendency to really overthink things you know uh and they don't tell anybody about it they just do it secretly <sighs> and that's not good you have to be able to ask for help if you need it um, but tigers struggle with that. Short-term future, this is Ascension. This is really positive. This is one of the best cards in the pack. The Ascension is, is essentially, it's the world card. Um, and so with the world card, you're in tune with the universe and you are accepting of what the universe sends you. So recognizing those opportunities, even those tigers that aren't so good at recognizing them, hopefully you will see that there are people out there who think you're attractive and wonderful and special and unique just like I see, I see you tiger people like that. I recognize you. Um, yeah. So this is really, really good. So it means in the early part of the year, um, you could you could meet people who are a good match for you. OK, and they see you and they recognize you and they want potentially want to be with you. So take it slow. Don't rush it. Slightly longer term future. This is the Ten of Cups, Ten of Chalices. It's the happy family card. So this could this this can mean um a period of time where if you've got children they've got children it could be like a blended family um there's an opportunity for that now and if you, if you even if you don't happy family card it just means that sense of joy of connection amongst you and your partner and also the extended families on both sides as well so it's really really positive and romantic in a romantic spread now the overall outcome card is luna the moon card now generally speaking the moon card is has a variety of interpretations. One of those interpretations is that it's connection to your intuition, connection to the, the dream world. Um, also overthinking, you know, sort of connection to that, that you don't want to, you don't want to let your, your imagination go wild about what's happening and overthinking to the point that you uh, start, the, the, uh, the imagination goes a bit, a bit wild and starts over uh, creating things that aren't even happening, right? So you're going to have to figure out a way to calm yourself down, stay stay grounded, and stay rational. Because sometimes when the moon card comes, you lose your rationality and become overly emotional. So um, if you do meet someone and, and uh, it starts going somewhere and you get a bit fretful uh, and you start overthinking, calm yourselves down, come back to the ground, and um, try and be as objective as you can. Sleep more, meditate more. Um, and uh, speak to friends who you trust to to give you to give you like a, a a fair and accurate perspective on things. Okay, but this is quite positive. I'm a bit excited for you, Tiger. <laughs> All right, let's move on to uh, your twelve month spread. Okay.
Okay. Let's have a look and put this over here. Okay, so January. A uh, sudden event that could illuminate something for you. So a, a sudden incident that it takes something that happens suddenly can help open your open your eyes to something that was already there but you didn't see. So this thing that happens really uncovers a lot. It's like the the misty window becomes completely clear and you see clearly what's really there. Um, there, there would have been signs already before, but it, it's either you weren't ready to see it or you weren't ready to to confront it head on. But now you've got no choice. So there's something in January which changes the, 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 the course of um, um, your, dire your direction when it comes to, I don't know, something. Because this is just general for the, for, the, for the year. So it's going to have a positive, it's going to have an impact because it's a major arcana card as well. So um, yeah, let's see. February, February we've got the uh, Seven of Orbs. So it's like somebody's making off with something and you, you found out and you're, you're trying to do something about it. Um, sometimes this card comes up when you're dealing with, when you're dealing with somebody who has addiction issues. Um, so you can, there's only so much you can do in that situation. Or if, if some sort of theft has happened. Now, I'm not saying that's gonna, that there's going to be a theft, but it can feel like that because this card, the person that's on this card can feel like an energy thief. They just take from your energy around people that just drain the life out of you. So it could be that you're confronted by that in February and that has a big impact upon you. So just remember what I said in the other spread, which was to keep yourself away from toxic people. Um, because tigers have a lot of energy. Because they, 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 they exhaust themselves doing things and then they just have to rest for periods of time. So I would say... Um, uh, that there are lots of uh, toxic people who just leech off of your energy and you don't need that you need to keep your energy for your own projects and for yourself so distance yourself from those toxic people March we've got the four of crystals now this is a time for you to save your money pull your money back put start saving account put it away and uh, keep your resources and your finances to yourself <sighs> Also, keep your emotions to yourself as well, because your emotions are also a resource that people want to, as, as you saw the card before, that people want to take from you. It's not theirs to take. Only if you choose to give it to them is it theirs. In March, we, we, we have the Two of Flames. So um, when this card comes, you're like in the early stages of, of thinking about a new project. What do you want to do? The world is your oyster. Where do you want to go? Do you want to travel? Um, this could suggest travel in April as well. Um, but uh, the ma the main sort of um, the main sort of thing uh, just with this card is you can form a partnership with somebody else in order to create something. And lots of ideas, two sets of ideas come forth, yours and the other person's. And it's actually a very uh, harmonious um, way of working. As long as you, but you know, with the with the fire cards, having a contract is always useful. So if you do start a project with somebody else, it's good to know what your role is, what the other person's role is, and have it written down in a contract. It's always wise, especially these days. May we have the three of orbs. I don't know why, but I immediately thought toothache. You know, with the look at that, look at that lightning striking. I immediately thought toothache. So we, you know, I, I don't wish that on anybody, but it'd be interesting if Tiger people had toothaches that year and um, that month in May. Um, but but uh, generally speaking, what this card means is with a heavy heart, you must carry on. So even though something didn't work out quite the way you wanted to, you're too busy to stop and you have responsibilities. You need to get on with it. So that's what May is going to be like. June, we've got the lovers. Self-healing and romantic love, friendship, connections, deep connections, feeling truly seen by by uh, significant others, by partners, but also friends as well. Really having um, a, an experience of... Um, I really feel understood by you. I really feel seen by you. Thank you for seeing me in this way because this is how I perceive myself and you have taken the time to see me in that way as well and it validates me. That sort of experience in June. Um, so that's, uh, so I, you know, I look forward for that for you. I look, look forward to that for you. Um, July, we've got the moon card again. So, uh, as I mentioned before, this card can mean um, need, needing to rely on your intuition because everything is shrouded in darkness. So there's things you're not meant to know when the moon card comes. You just have to take the next step in faith 
knowing that you'll get to the end of the end of the journey at, uh, at some point but you just have to keep going keep moving even though you know that somebody might not be telling you the truth or might be withholding information from you you'll find out in the end august we have the master of orbs which is a master of, which is a king of swords so this guy is completely objective um uh removes all emotion and makes his decisions based upon facts so it's going to be that sort of time um where you're you're and he's also also the military king is king of swords so he's a military king he also needs to have a strategy on how to manage a, a large group of people and he does that really really well so i think that it could be a period of time where you have to take charge and have to look after a lot of people in doing so you have to come from a very objective strategic mind frame so it could you know it could be in a promotion into a, even a higher position well, that's interesting I say that here when the next card is the chariot, right? So uh, that was August, so this is September. September, we've got the chariot. Now, this can suggest a uh, promotion. It can suggest a change of job, relocating for, for your work, um, just changing house uh, as well. So the chariot is one of the three victory cards. So it means that I channel my energy in a positive way in order to meet the success that I've been been working towards. So this is very, very positive. I think you're going to have a, a fantastic September in 2023. Um, right, uh, October, Six of Chalices, a reconnection with somebody you've known from your childhood or reconnected with an aspect of your childhood. So sometimes you have these um, uh, feelings or reminders of what it was like when you were younger, um, cherished cherished times. And sometimes a friend can do that. When you see a friend that you've known since you, you were a kid, um, it just reminds you of that of that that time, and it re re evokes that energy, um, which is which can be really positive and heartwarming and nostalgic and all that sort of stuff. Um, but this card can also mean reconnecting with a previous lover. Okay, so for those of you that reconnect with somebody you knew before in October, it gives you a chance to um, go to that place again. And if you want to re-establish that as a long-term thing, maybe you can because the um, month afterwards, November. Is Ace of Cups, so new relationship. My cup runneth over with positive and pure emotion. Um, new beginnings, new starts, really exciting uh, emotions. Um, yeah, also can suggest the birth of a child. So that's something to think about. Um, and in December we have the Knight of Flames, Knight of Wands. <coughs> so even though it's December and it's wrapping up the year. This card says now's the time to take action. So when everybody else is winding down, it could be that you're just getting started. Wouldn't that be typical for the tiger? Um, so uh, this this is a really positive card for getting things moving on that on that personal project, which is usually separate from your work. Um, so you, you've got your day job and then you've got this other project and the project begins to take off in December. So that's really positive. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that is the 12 month spread for, for tigers in 2023. I just want to quickly remind you that my book Secrets of the Combined Astrology is out there. So uh, if you're if you want to know what your specific chart is and get the big book where it has all 144 charts or you can get your individual chart alone from um, uh, from Amazon. I'm a sheep Aquarius. This is my chart and you can get your chart for £6.99 or $8.74 on Amazon. Um, so, yeah. Apart from that, if you've liked the reading, please like and subscribe. And if you want to book a one-to-one -one session with me, please do that. You can email me at zachariahadil at gmail.com or you can WhatsApp me on this number right here. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Gonna turn that bloody phone off.